Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix. In my last video, I tested a PS4 Pro to see if the external cooling fans actually helped it cool. If you want to see that video, click in the upper part of your screen where you see the link and you can watch that video there. But today we're talking about the Xbox One X. We have an external cooling fan stand for the Xbox One S. So we're going to test and see if this external cooling fan stand will actually help the Xbox One X stay cooler. So let's get started. Started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play Forza Horizon 3 for about an hour or so and then we're going to watch the temperature on that and then we'll install the fan and then I'm going to play it for another hour and test check the temperature again to see if the temperature stays the same, if it goes up or if it goes down. Now we've just started the console up and it's been playing in the dashboard for a little bit here and it's at 135 degrees Fahrenheit and 57 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna get playing this game. I'm gonna play for about an hour and we're gonna check the temperature when I'm done. So we've been playing Forza for about an hour and 11 minutes and our temperature is 128.8 degrees Fahrenheit and 53.6 degrees Celsius. So now that we played for an hour without any external fans installed, we're gonna install the Xbox One S into the external fan stand, then we're gonna play some more and test the temperatures. Now this fan and stand has a place for two controllers and then it has an on and off button on the front of the stand. So we're gonna get that installed on the Xbox One S and see how it works. Now we have the Xbox One X on the stand. This is indeed the button for the fans. This is just a one speed fan. It's either off or on. Unlike the PS4 Pro fan that had two speeds, this one just has one on and off. So we'll just leave it on. Now we're gonna get this game played for another hour or so and see what the temperatures do. Right now the temperatures are about the same as they were before we installed it, so we'll see if it changes after we play. So we've played Forza for another hour with the Xbox One X fan stand installed and our temperature reading is 128 degrees Fahrenheit and 54 degrees Celsius. Now I did notice when I was playing that this temperature actually would spike up to about 132 degrees which seemed to be a little bit more than when the fan was not installed earlier but it's hard to tell as I was when I was playing it was kind of hard to keep an eye on the temperature the entire time but what is clear is this specific fan stand and probably any fan stands out there do absolutely nothing for cooling your Xbox One X as I suspected based on my previous video about the PS4 Pro. So if your Xbox One X is in good, fairly clean condition and you're looking for extra ways to cooling it, I do not recommend anything like this torp type of stand. What I always do recommend, however, are things like making sure that it's in a well-ventilated area. Make sure that you keep the side vents clean because that's where the intake air comes in. And just make sure that your Xbox One X is taken care of. Now, if your console is really dirty on the inside, or something like that, it is possible that a fan stand or an external fan just blowing on it, that might help it stay a little bit cooler until you can get it cleaned. But if your console is in decent condition, I do not recommend any sort of external fans. The internal fan on these consoles and pretty much any current generation consoles will kick up if the console is starting to get too warm and it will back off if the console is getting cooler. So these fans and these consoles are made to adjust to the temperature of the console so you need no external fans for them. As usual I'll be hanging out in the comments section of this video once it goes live so if you have any questions about this or anything else about me or my channel feel free to ask them there and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks so much for watching this video. Thank you for supporting my channel and I hope you have a good one.